What is going on everybody? I'm back again with that NBA Live 15 playing the ultimate team game mode and I will be showing gameplay after this pack opening but they gave everybody 10 free gold packs and I'm gonna open mines right now but before we do that this is my starting lineup my current starting lineup before the pack opening Darren Collinson at the 1, JR Switch at the 2, Joe Green at the 3, Josh Smith at the 4 and Brooke Lopez at the 5 you know my team was looking alright but after this pack my team was looking vicious dog vicious and y'all see why but our first pack who are we gonna pull we're gonna pull Jeff Teague he has great speed in this game. Second pack, we're going to pull that man, Jamal Crawford. His dribble moves in threes is going to be fire. Just wait on it. Then we pull Ricky Rubio. So starting off, we're pulling a whole bunch of guards. But wait a minute. We just pulled that man, Westbrook. Do you see the speed? The speed, though. Do you see the speed? 97 speed and 90 dunk. I'm going to be killing with this man, Russell Westbrook, dog. Killing. And it's going to get better. Just wait on it. Just just wait on it. After that, we pull Kevin Martin. So my team is looking pretty good, man. A lot of guards. A lot of guards. But right there, it changes up and gives me Nene. That's a power forward slash center right there. And they troll us with Raymond Felton. Fat neck guys. Don't give me this, dude. They did give me Nick Stauskas and George Hill in that pack, though. So I'm straight with that. Next pack, we're pulling Paul Millsap. So now we're getting some bigs. And here we go again, another big, and we pulled Dwight Howard. Russell Westbrook first, and now Dwight Howard may be the best center in the game. So I just pulled one of the best point guards in the game, and now I pulled one of the best centers in the game. Oh my goodness. Like Kobe said, he might be soft. It might be facts, but he's still one of the best centers to play in the NBA right now. And this is my current starting lineup going into my first NBA Live Ultimate Team game. Let's go. The Toronto Raptors will face a conference for today's matchup against the Boston Celtics. To call the action on Mike Breen and Jeff Van Gundy. We are now getting into my very first, and I mean my very first LUT game against another user. And right away, I noticed how great the servers was in this game. Man, not one second of lag through all four quarters. This entire game was very smooth, no lag. But what are you reaching for? Jennings pulling up with a mid-range jumper. My man, Russell Westbrook, my new point guard of the team, getting his first two points on my team. But BJ is going to come back. I'm trying to call for man-to-man, -man, but wind up calling for a 3-2 zone. Backing off BJ, and he's going to make me pay with the three-pointer. I can't give this man no space at all. And one thing I noticed right out the gate is I did have the better team than him. So I kind of knew I was going to get this win, but... I had to play good as well. On this game, you can have a good team, but you have to play good in order to win on this game. Skills does come into play on this game. You do have to have skills. You just can't have a good team and automatically win just because of that. But look at this man, Westbrook, throwing it down. And one dunk beat your chest, big fella. <laughs> Westbrook killing the game already. Getting contact dunks already. One thing I am salty about is that there are no replays in the lot. Uh, I said lot. The hell is lot? Live ultimate team, the light game mode. I don't think there's any replays. Look at, oh, come on, man. David West ripping Russell. Come on, man. Come on, man. Vucevic going ahead and throwing it down. And, and that's one thing I want to talk about, too. In this game, when your hand hit the ball, Oh, it's going to be a steal. So it don't matter if there's the center ripping the ball, if there's a point guard ripping the ball. If somebody hand touches the ball, that is going to be a steal. And that is realistic. Realistic. As you see, I'm trying to make my way down to Dwight Howard. Pulling up with the, the mid-range jumper. And slightly late release, man. Couldn't get that to go. I wanted him to dunk. But Bradley Brill coming down on the other side of the court. Getting an acrobatic layup to go. Nice two points for him. And this guy was reaching a whole bunch this game. Once he figured out he can get some steals, he kept reaching. But he kept leaving my team wide open. 
You don't leave my JR Smith wide open. As soon as I say that, I leave his JR Smith wide open. Great release. He was wide open, but he missed. I'm going to go ahead and kick it off to Josh Smith. He hop stepped through the defense, splitting the defense, getting an easy layup. We both got Jamal Crawford, so it's now Jamal against Jamal. But my Jamal's better. Look at my Jamal playing defense, getting it still. We on a fast break. I'm going to go ahead and throw it up to that man, Paul Millsap. But he didn't even catch the oop. He didn't even try to jump. So now he's on a fast break, throwing it down with J.R. Swish, J.R. Smith, and oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to talk to y'all about that I really like about this game mode. When he shoots, I can see the release timing that he had for his players, and he can see it from mine as well. Look at Jamal pump faking, getting him in the air, stepping up a little bit, getting a closer shot, and he knocks that down. Skipping ahead a little bit, look at my boy Nick Stauskas, wide open, slightly late, but he missed, but my boy Dwight Howard, one of the best centers in the game today, cleaning up the boards and putting it back up for two. Look at me reaching, trying to get the steal on BJ, but look at the nice layup in the paint by Brandon Jennings, and on this possession I was just fooling around with this guy because I seen that he loved the reach in so look at him getting all the contacts and stuff look at him reaching so I'm just gonna keep dribbling but he winds up getting me I was caught slack and he get this steal now on a fast break throwing the oop to Bradley Bill that's what I get for trying to mess with this guy man I, I seen that he loved the reach in and then look again he gets the steal but my man Jamal Crawford is there so I'm gonna go ahead and stop messing around with this guy giving it off to Nick Stouts gets great release wet like water under 10 seconds to go in the first half my man westbrook is gonna make sure we get the last shot of the half kicking it off the stouts gets he's wide open slightly late what a great look at the end of the half buddy miss we're now up by seven points and i will be right back in the second half now early on in the second half I wanted to play different than I did in the first half in the first half I kept taking threes and taking the open jump shots which isn't bad but this half I wanted to kick it off to my big man in the paint as Millsap throwing it down in the paint and that's what I kept doing as you see the long pass from Westbrook to Paul Millsap in the paint once again and you know a little bit later I wind up switching it up three minutes to go in the third quarter Trying to find my man Westbrook. I find him right there. Going to stop over here at the right wing of the three. He's leaving me all kinds of space. Russell Westbrook can shoot the three, you idiot. But wait a minute. Is he going to rage quit? Ah, I wanted him to rage quit so bad. That would have been so perfect. But he didn't rage quit. He sat there for about a good 15 seconds and unpaused the game. But my man Jeff T getting this steal and slamming it down on the other end. Once again, BJ is caught reaching. I wanted to throw it down, but I wasn't going to take the chance. But I found my boy Millsap. And now we're up by 16 points. 39 to 25 now. Once again, this man is reaching. I'm going to take it all the way to the paint. Get your ass dunked on. Russell plays no games. Just quit, please. I don't even want to play against you no more, man. I'm loving this game. The posters in this game is lovely. As the way, go ahead and throw it down, getting his fourth point of the game. BJ coming back, throwing it over to JC as he knocked down the deep mid-range shot. His toes and feet was on the line, so that was a two. That wasn't a three, but Russell Westbrook finding that boy Joe Green knocking down the three. Let's go, man. Like, this dude was no competition at all. Look, he don't even want to play no more. He's just standing damn near at the top of the key with BJ just sitting there on defense. Come on. He don't even he don't even want to play no more. My man Paul Millsap grabbing the old rebound, throwing it back up, and one. The game is over. We beat this guy 58-35. to 35. That is the final score. And, man, this guy was just nothing. I know I had the better team, but he could have did better than 35 points. I'm just saying. But after the game, we wind up getting 1,600 coins for that game. And if y'all even think this team is something that I got now, just wait to see my team when I play my next game. Oh my goodness. But check out the stats for my team as well as his team. The only thing I don't like so far, and this only happened for one game so far, is this right here. When, when the game is over and I want to go check the top replays, it says no replays are available. This can easily be fixed. I hope it is fixed soon, sooner than later. But that's about it. Hit that like button and I'm out.